Welcome to the Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, FCCA, located at 813 Sophia Street in downtown historic Fredericksburg. I'm Carol Morgan, the curator of the Frederick Gallery, and I welcome you to our video of the April 2022 Artist Choice Exhibition, juried by Cheryl Bosch. Our exhibition will be open to the public on Mondays, noon to four, Thursday, Friday, noon to four, Saturday, 11 a.m. to four, Sunday, one to four, and for extended hours on first Friday, April 1st, from noon to 8.30 p.m. We invite you to come in and see this wonderful exhibition in person. I'd like to introduce you to our juror, Cheryl Bosch. Uh, Cheryl has an undergraduate degree in art education from Edinburgh University and a master's in interdisciplinary studies from Virginia Commonwealth University. For the last three decades, she has owned and operated Frame Design in Fredericksburg, Virginia, located at 105 Hill Street. She has taught drawing and design at Germana Community College as well as private classes. A realist artist, she shows her work under her nickname of Seeds. She works in oil, acrylic, and pastels, preferring portraits and still lifes. I welcome Cheryl and she will talk to you about this exhibition, how she selected the uh, entire exhibition, and then the award. Cheryl? Thank you, Carol. I'm very honored to be here. I love journeying these shows. You always get the best artwork from all over the country and possibly the world. This show, Artist Choice, had a, a different twist that it could be anything. We had three-dimensional, we had two-dimensional, watercolor, oils, mixed media. It was a lot of fun during the end. I will be taking you around to the different pieces that I selected and show you a little glimpse at some of the others that are in the show. This is definitely a show you want to come and see. Okay, I just wanted to zero in on the number one piece. This is called Girl on Fire by Barbara Nye. It is beautiful. I'm going to take you in a little closer because I want you to see the texture both in the hair and on the face. Beautiful. Now, let's back up and look at some of the other art. This is a show you're not going to want to miss. So many beautiful pieces. Let's get past the window blind so you can see this beautiful little teapot. Teapot series number three by Roxana Genovese. And I oh, love this one. Come on light, brighten up for me. There we go. That's a bad fly called Elements. And unfortunately I won't be able to highlight every one but just wanted to give you an idea of some of the pieces. You want to come in and look at them in person for sure. This is a beautiful, it looks like a pastel, but it's an acrylic. And a watercolor, and look at the puppies. All right, now let's come over. And as soon as I get past the reflection, this is our number two. Oh. Uh, my camera is not doing this justice. So come on in and see this. It's called A Day at the Beach by Sally Roan Kubarek. Beautiful piece. And let's look at some of these. Marcia Chavez, her work is always so beautiful. I love the way the light is dappled. This is a, a scene on the side of the silversmith house. Very nice piece watercolor. Oh, look at all the gorgeous work we have in this town. This piece I'd like to point out, it's very interesting. It's made from melted plastic. And now I'd like to take you into the back room. Over the fireplace, we see this beautiful sunflowers by Ed King. He does such beautiful work. But this show is not easy to juror. 
There are so many beautiful pieces. This is an interesting sculpture called The Silversmith House, Reflections in Light and Color by Lori Helvenstein. Helvenstein. I apologize ahead of time. I'm probably gonna butcher quite a few names. But look at this gray and textured by Bob Worthy. Beautiful. I loved this sculpture. It's kind of kind of spinning in the wind a little bit, but that's part of its beauty. This one earned an honorable mention. It was done by Hessel Helminski, who is from Erie, Pennsylvania. So in here we have the third place winner by Christina Del Val. It's a beautiful piece. Look at all the intricate line work and dots. The title is Jurikin. Let's look at some of these others. Oh, gosh, the, yeah, the reflection is a little bit better. Here is an honorable mention called Artist Window 3 by Katherine Owens. And you come back around to this wall. You see all the beautiful pieces. It would have been hard to, it was hard to choose the winners. I did choose this little beauty for an honorable mention. This is all beadwork. It's called Be Happy by Jody Bryan. And it's gorgeous. Here is another piece of hers. The work on this is just exquisite. Quite nice. 